an introductory to the uh, series of videos I hope to do on the keyboard uh, by Alesis. The Alesis QS8. That's where I got my YouTube name, Mr. Alesis Man. Since this display board is taking up most of the uh, video space, I thought I'd talk about it first. When I talk about the equipment, I'll talk about this first. The globe second, and the lava lamps third. The rest of the equipment. The next fourth, or third or fourth video. Okay. This board, excuse me a second, is called an LED lighted writable menu board LED sign. I got it on Amazon and it's sold by flashing LED board. Uh, so when you turn it on, it comes up as a flashing LED board. Uh, turns out I don't care about the flashing part. It's been filmed without any external lights. Filming light in the video is difficult because it's different in, on the video than on the naked eye. So these colors look, will look different in the video than to my eye. I'll explain a little bit. Yellow is very intense on, on the uh, video. But these names are, these are the colors of that are the pins. So that's a purple pin, green, pink, blue, yellow, white pins. Uh, it's flashing, it's going through its flashing. Mode. I'm on. A, it's got a controller. It looks like a, a button from my um, camera. It's got a center button with four outer buttons, directional buttons. Uh, the directions are pretty sparse, and only about some flashing. Um, I have not mastered this one little button. Okay. Well, I'm going to push push the center button when it's on red. And we'll see what happens. So it goes back in this mode. It always goes back to the default, which is the white LEDs on the sides. I'm going to push one of the outer buttons. There's no, I don't know how to master, so there's no use, no sense in me telling you what I'm doing, because I don't know what I'm doing on the, on the control. I'm just showing you different colors. I'd like to get, it's got some modes that are really interesting. Um, I hope I can duplicate them. There's the default. Default. I'm trying to make a change to a color. There's one of the flashing modes. Now I think if I push the center button, it'll stay green. Okay. So this is the green LED. The green LEDs on the side. So that's why everything looks green except that one color. This is one of the colors I might use. I have. Um, the colors I might use are green, blue. I might use the default. The default is very bright to my to my eye. That's why I like either blue or green. It's not as bright to my eyes while I'm trying to play the keyboard. I think if I push the center button, it'll start flashing again. And I'll push it down, and I think I'll change it to blue. Push the center. Okay, there's our blue LEDs. To my naked eye, I see blue. There's these three colors, yellow. These are kind of like a yellow green. They look the same to me. And then this pinkish color. There's red. I used to like red, but it's kind of intense. There's the default flashing. If you buy an LED sign, I highly recommend that you turn it on before you write. And when you write, use a bright color like these purple or pink. I use pink. I'm really glad I did it. I used the pink pen and turned the sign on just by accident. Oh, by the, um, by the way, it comes with a USB power connector. It actually came with three wires and they were USBs. And it really confused me because I thought I was supposed to connect it to a computer. And the reason it got me confused, there was another sign, kind of a flashing in sign, that you, uh, you actually program via a USB port. So when I got this, I thought I was going to do it, and I, there were no instructions, so it kind of threw me, no CD. But it turns out that USB is strictly a power. It might be sending a signal through through it, but it, it's, it's, um, it's all controlled by the little controller. But this controller is like a little, little remote control for a camera. 
can't get it. I don't know how to do some of the exotic flashes. There's one I'm calling a ramp. I'm trying real hard before the video times out. I've timed out so three videos now. And one of them had that ramping. switching colors real fast there's a, there's a one of these modes has it switches colors in a ramp when I mean it dims it goes dims down up down up that's the one I'd really like to be able to get yeah, I've had this thing three weeks I think this is the first time I've seen this Got a heck, heck of a lot of different flashing mods. Now this one, when I stare at it, it actually looks like it's moving. When I switch its color, it, has, it actually has a moving. The red gets wide, the green gets narrow. That wide, narrow. <laughs> so this is uh, these are the blue LEDs. This is the name of the keyboard. So I'm thinking about blue. It's a very muted color. Here's the green. There's my second choice. I think for the variety's sake, I should switch around once in a while and try to remember, try to learn how to use this little controller. Okay, let's uh, see if we can get a really nice flash here. Be interested to know really how many flashing modes this has. It's definitely a nice board, it's just too bad the instructions are not very detailed. There, there's not many people I don't think who you know, want to use it in the video. <clears throat> These would be excellent for video signs if it could lower the voltage a little bit. And maybe in a video you want it to flash like this, so it have different purposes. I mean that's a tension getter, I guess. Okay, that's the, um, once again, the it's called an LED Lighted Writable Menu Board, LED Sign, by Flashing LED Board, got it on Amazon. I think I found it because I, was, I think I searched LED Display Board, it must have hit the LED Board. And, and, uh, I'm not sure if there are other types, I, I don't remember what I looked, look, it was an LED Board. There's different models. This one, this model actually came with the pins and some um, microfiber cloth that you used to wipe it off. And by the way, this is a, a water soluble uh, ink. Uh, it takes a long time to dry too. When it dries, it just wipes like a dry erase. But when it's wet, it'll smear. And you could actually smear it then right with your fingers. You could do finger painting with this. This has got quite an artistic uh, uh, potential to it. You could do some. They could make some pretty uh, paintings with this sign. And you'd have your painting flashing. Hope it's under 10 minutes.